So in this video, I'm gonna show you 5 robots you can do in Minecraft only using coppers and a few blocks. There are no redstone and command blocks needed as I'm not a redstone expert myself and these robots are only for decoration purposes. Now keep in mind that these robots will only be based on numbers and won't have no names whatsoever. So it's up to you to name them. The first one, I'll call him Dave. So Dave is the most basic robot out of the four in terms of building and survival, design and material wise. There are two ways you can make it, either build it on the ground or mid-air. But for personal preference, mid-air is the best way since this is a drone and to easily recognize it. After building, it's best to wax the copper to avoid oxidizing over time. But if you are in creative mode, you can just use the wax copper blocks instead. Now you can make a ton of these, possibly making you a drone army, or if you just like having lots of minions by your side. Talk about having a minion by your side, the second robot might just be your thing. It's a bit simpler in design and possibly the next easy build you can do in survival. It uses less copper which means fewer resources and unlike the first robot where you build it on air, this one provides more ground space. This means you can make this pretty much everywhere you want. If you're building this in survival, I prefer using one armor stand just for the leather helm if you find it hard to get a wither skull. Trust me, this will save you a lot of time in building. Now since I'm playing in Bedrock Edition, the placement of the armor stands is different compared to Java Edition. So be sure to use Daylight Sensor when you're building this in Java. The third robot's gonna be another drone but with more defined details. It includes a block of netherite which we all know is a hard material to find in the nether. So if you're planning to build this in survival, it's best to use alternate blocks such as Polish Deep Slate so much of your time won't get wasted. But if you have these blocks already, then you'll have no problem. Again, it's up to your decision whether you want the drone to be on the ground or mid-air but most preferably do in mid-air so it's more recognizable. Comparing this to our first robot Dave, they're different in terms of shape, how they form in the details. With that being said, let me know in the comments which drones match your taste. While other robot designs look good, this one is no exception when it comes to the quality and its detailing. This heavily inspired robot dog from Boston Dynamics tops all three previous robots with its unique design. With its four legs, the hoppers, and how the levers connect to each other easily makes it my favorite. When building it, you have to start with the legs before making the body and its head. It's like assembling one in real life. Now some of you are gonna think that this robot dog is too big for size, so I made a scaled down version of the robot dog containing the same blocks but with fewer details and more compact. So to clearly explain it, the smaller it gets, the less detail we're gonna get. But that's just my opinion though, that's for you to decide. So those are 5 robot designs you can do, only with coppers and a few blocks. Let me know your thoughts on the builds if you think they're good, bad, or in between those two. As always, special thanks to some of you for the lovely fan arts. If you want yours to be featured, you can join by checking my discord in the description. Thanks for tuning in, bye bye, blub blub.